and this will be your servant then. Yeah. <laughs> very good, very good to see. Now. So unfortunately this was probably maybe made uh, in the likes of maybe India there or China or stuff like that. Just really dreadful that there is 100% made in Scotland, you know, that's made in Glasgow armour class uh, by proper armourers. Yeah. Uh, we have loads of... Right, um, thoughts about Stirling Castle. To be honest, we were a little bit disappointed. Let me explain why. Um, the castle itself, of course, um, it's still preserved and it's still very majestic and magnificent. So that was okay. And of course, um, when we go up, high up, um, the view of Stirling City itself was um, really precious and um, very all-encompassing. But as to the interiors, um, we find it to be quite artificial. As you can see from um, what I filmed, the interiors of the different rooms are all freshly painted. I rather they leave the walls, however faded, um, intact. Only the outer, inner and um, the actual chambers of the Queen and the King are opened. But only the Queen's um, inner chamber is fully furnished. Whereas the king's chamber, we only got to see the ceiling treatment, and of course, again, they are all reproductions. So that that is a little bit um of a complaint that we all shared. Nevertheless, of course, um, it is a very interesting trip um to know about the history of the castle itself and the rulers that, you know, occupied it. So yeah, that's about it. 